What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Gym Leader Geo, and this is episode one of our Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon Blind Let's Play. Uh, I am hyped. I am excited. If you guys are not familiar with what a blind LP is all about, um, definitely check out my prologue video, uh, the video that went up immediately prior to this one, where I sort of talk about what it means. Uh, to be a to be a blind LP, but this is the screen we were on right before I ran uh, ran out of my room to get ready for this. Um, I'm pretty excited, um, ready to go with this with this game. At this point, I'm just double checking that all my there we go. All right. Perfect. Okay. So, uh, yeah, we're going to play this game in English. Surfing Pikachu. Man, it's a classic. Kukui. Is this the same surfer bro? The same surfer bro professor from last time? Hang on now. Give me just a sec. Hey there. Good afternoon. That's how he sounds. This is Professor Kukui. So the day has finally come. But you're moving to Alola. Alola is a region made up of several islands. It could be the reason this chock full of nothing but rare Pokemon. Yeah, there's no shortage of coal Pokemon out here in Alola either. Such mysterious creatures. What's he got? Rock rough? You'll find them all over in grass, in the caves. In the sky and in the sea, the killer waves. Yeah. Here in Alola, we love our Pokemon and we depend on them heaps too. Some of them even battle with... Wait. Some of us even battle with them if we call ourselves Pokemon trainers. Rock rough, cutie fly. I'll play with you later. So cool your jets. Alright. I gotta ask you some questions about yourself so I can introduce you to everybody. So, which photo should I use for your trainer passport? Oh, is this where it asks me if I'm a boy or a girl, but it doesn't actually ask me? Ah, this is amazing. Good job, Pokemon Company. Uh, all right, I have brown hair. And I'm, uh, I'm... Yeah, I like this one. Yeah. All right, then. I'll let you spell out your name for me. All right. Well, no reason to mess with this. Are you buzzing phone? So you go by Geo? Yes. Yes, I do, sir. 10 4, good buddy. I'll let everyone out here know you're on your way. Geo. Yeah. <laughs> That's a name that hits you like a drop kick right to the head. Woo. <laughs> Can't wait to see you in person then, cousin. Shaka bra. Alright. All right, Professor. Geo, come help me with these boxes. That's got to be my mom, right? Got a little magazine. Uh, I kind of remember that place. That was... Um... Is this literally the exact same opening scene from regular Sun and Moon? Like, literally exactly the same? No. What? I... <laughs> Hmm, okay. Okay. I, <laughs> that's like the exact same scene from uh, the opening of... Three months later. Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm not... I'm gonna reserve judgment here, challengers. I'm gonna reserve judgment, but that feels and looks a whole lot like the exact opening scene from uh, regular... Sun and regular moon.
which I don't know. It's not a bad thing. I mean, I really loved Sun and Moon. I really loved that game. So if it's pretty much the same game, I mean, that's not a loss. It's just, yeah, it's the same game. So, ah, <sighs> can't you just feel that warmth? The first day spent under the Alola sun. It's so warm and bright out here. If that's enough of that. Time to unpack all these boxes. Meowth, go get Geo for me, would you? Go get me, Meowth. Don't keep Mama, Mama Geo waiting. Nintendo Switch on the corner over there. Not bad, not bad. What's that signature? Whose signature is that? Hey! Pikachu doll. Very cool. Holly whirl on my um, on my floor. California on my license plate. Get up. I'm trying to be lazy around here. I got my hat. I got my bag. Am I wearing pants under my shorts? It's the new coat rack my mom bought for me. I know, but it's also all of my clothes. What's up, Mia? Oh, that means that you want my uh, my mom to... I speak Pokemon. That's how I know that Meowth said that. Because remember, guys, can't break the fourth wall here. Geo was not outside when my mom, Mama Geo, was having that question. You were out like a light, weren't you? You ought to be full of energy by now. And just look, it's already daytime here. It's completely the opposite of Kanto. But then we're so far away here in Alola. So, Geo, are you excited to meet some Alolan Pokemon? Of course. That's right, I want to hurry up and meet some too. We're living in the Alola region now, the beautiful islands everyone wants to visit. I'm sure the Pokemon living in a place like this must be friendly, right? Might not be a bad idea to go out and see for yourself just how friendly the Pokemon here are, right Geo? Go out and get ready for a bit of exploring. Your bag and hat thing should be hanging in the coat stand in your room. And didn't you leave a copy of your adventure rules on your desk too? Well, you know what? Full disclosure, can't remember. Couldn't tell you. Sweet kicks! Excellent bag. Hat could do without. Could do without the hat. It's an ugly hat. Me. It's not a good one. Not the best, is I guess what I'm trying to say. I could improve on the hat. It's like my main... The main takeaway of this is... Everything else, fine. The hat, kind of ugly. Because it's so hot there. Like, I mean, and that's not going to give me great sun protection. Now you look ready for anything. Oh, but even so, Geo, try to be careful while walking through tall grass. Still, I have to admit, I'd love to have a new Pokemon around. Why don't you head up to Icky Town and see what there is to discover in Alola. Wow. Alright. Got a little couple of sacked lunches here. Three of them, to be exact. Not sure who we're feeding. Meowth's got his little dinner bowl over here. A little, tiny little tray of water next to it. It's not enough. I prefer to leave a little more water out for my pets. Um, just in case. You know? Makes it less likely they'll spill it. Or um, just, you know, not have any, any water to go with. Who are you? You have an evil Meowth, an Alolan Meowth. You can go with me if you dash with B. What do you think of my song? It's awful. You, I hope you didn't work too hard on that. That was two lines long. I could come up with a better song in the time it takes me to read three lines. The power of science is amazing. You can enjoy a festival with people from around the world without taking a step. Every day is a... Oh, God, no, not Festival Plaza again. I, I gotta be honest, guys. I was really hoping that we would be done uh, with Festival Plaza forever with this new game. Festival Plaza was a fun idea, but a terrible replacement for the Wi-Fi system. All right, little gumshoe.
Bark, bark. Okay. So, they're giving me a starter way earlier in this game than they did in the other game. The other game you played for, like, I felt like it was not even episode one that I got to choose my starter. Those cutie pies. Look at them. <laughs> Cute. Cute AF. P C A F. Pretty cute. Hey there, cousin. What's up, Kakui? Hang on, I know you. You're Geo, right? You're okay? I saw you got attacked like that. Yeah, I got a big a bit of help. I was scared spitless. S spitless. Was the other option there? I was scared spitless. I can't tell. <laughs> is that a translation error? I was scared speechless? Or is this just a thing? I just have no idea. Spitless! I might have to Google this. Is this really a thing? Spit. <laughs> Do you run out of spit when you're scared? Do you get dry mouth when you're. I I'm going to Google this off screen. I'm gonna Google it on screen. I'm Googling it right now. Scared spitless. It's really honestly a thing. How is this a thing? To frighten a person to the point that his or her mouth goes dry? Alright. Listen, it's a thing, and uh, I eat my own words because that was actually a saying. I've just never heard it before. <laughs> I guess I've never been so scared that my mouth got dry. Uh, looks like you did. Though, sure didn't expect that, yeah. I didn't think these little fellows would dash out to help their own, uh, on their own to help save a stranger. But, I'm getting ahead of myself. Welcome to Alola, the Pokemon paradise. That's what I'm supposed to be saying. I'm Kakui, yeah, the Pokemon professor. People in Pokemon live and work together here in Alola, too. Don't you ever forget, you can go anywhere, yeah, as long as you've got a Pokemon in your corner. Wild Pokemon could be lurking in the tall grass, yeah, just waiting to leap out and bite you, but you'll be, you'll be fine if you've got a partner of your own. Hey there, hey, well, let me introduce you to the Pokemon that helped you just now. This is the Grass-type Pokemon, Rowlet. Whew! Still 360. Is it, has he trained his Pokemon to do this, or just like when you say their name, they just do a little, they do a little spin for you? Because this seems very like model-esque, like he's walked these Pokemon down the runway, and they're like doing a little strut, turning around a little bit. The Fire-type Pokemon, Litten. Okay, so he jumps. Rowlet does a little spin. He jumps. And the Water-type Pokemon, Poplio. Bwark! You see, the fact of the matter is, one of these Pokemon will become your first partner too. Woo. Hmm? Yeah. Maybe that's why they wanted to save you. Go on and choose the one you'd like to keep as your partner, cousin. Alright. So, alright, here's what I did in the last LP. I picked one of them, and then I... I, using the, um, the GTS system, I went out and I found, I traded some exclusive to, I think I played Moon, I traded some Moon exclusives for starters. Uh, so I was able to get, um, a Litten and a Rowlet when I led with Poplio last time. And I, I, I found that fun to do, but the problem with it was, I struggled to... One thing I like to do in my playthroughs is use new Pokemon a lot, not keep the same six and just stick with them forever. I, I cycle in and out, I'll get them to their maximum evolution, and then I'll, so to speak, kick them the F out of my team, you know what I mean? So, I, that's harder to do when you have to reserve three slots for starters for the whole game. 
but I really liked do <laughs> I really liked doing it. Um, so whether or not I will do that again remains to be seen. But for now, uh, I'm gonna go with. Okay. Every time I needed, this is another theme from the last uh, the last playthrough. Every time I needed Rowlet and his eventual evolution, which I won't spoil, uh, to come through, he did not do so. I would like count on him, and then he would fail me. Uh, Litten and his final evolution are powerful but slow, so I was constantly taking hits, uh, but crushing through Mons like no problem. Uh, but Poplio, he's too, he's too dependable. I gotta stick with the Bwark. Poplio works hard and makes some pretty awesome balloons. Because he looks like a clown. <laughs> so you wanna go with the water type Pokemon Poplio? Yes. Yes, please. Kakui's like so ripped though. Like, how's he have... He must not be doing much researching. Ah, cute, cutie. His mouth's on the bottom of his nose. Like, how does he eat? Because he's got a like nose up, right? Like his nose is out like this, but his mouth is here. So he's like, but put his nose. Like, if it's a bowl of food, right? Like his nose is gonna rest on both rims of the bowl, and he's just gonna like, like eat from the bottom. Seriously, look at that mouth! Look where that mouth is! That's not... That's not great. <laughs> For a domesticated creature. Uh, yes, I'd like to give Poppio a nickname, and we're doing a call back. We're doing a call back to my last Let's Play. And we're going with Lil P! Lil P! It doesn't work great for the middle evolution, who, uh... Who's the the Pokemon is uh, doesn't begin with the letter B P? Why did I say B? <laughs> so you went with Poplio. Woo! What a fine looking team you two are. Now that you can have Pokemon battles. You're what we call a Pokemon trainer. Here's a Poke Ball for Poplio too. Should feel nice and cozy in there. All right then, let's get going up to Icky Town, Geo. Woo! Time to meet the island kahuna. But why? Truth is, the partner Poplio of yours is a gift from the kahuna, not me. So let's go to, let's go show it off and a proper thank you, cousin. Might not be the only gift you get. In case you haven't heard, the kahunas are all crazy strong Pokemon trainers. Be careful about getting to a battle with one. Hmm. Icky Town is right up here. Sweet. Get Poppio in that Pokeball I gave you. He looks happy. Hmm. I didn't want to pay for the uh, dematerialization. It's gonna go on. So there's a hole down here. There's a hole in the bottom of the route. There's a hole in the bottom of the route. Yeah, that's right. You go through the. Uh, you go up here to get there. I don't have any Pokeballs to catch anything, so I don't really want to spend too much time in this area with a Peck Peck. No, Young Goose! Goose! So the music's kind of loud. I'm going to turn this down just to make sure I'm not drowning out my own voice with the game music. Uh, I can't tell if that's good or not, but I'm going to try it. We're going to get where imagery in the bottom, you can look at attack boosts, defense boosts, uh, what my ability is, torrent. Uh, I got a male Lil P. This is a female Young Goose. 
Uh, and we start with water gun, and we can hit info on that too. See that it's 40 power and pound, which we see is 40 power. Excellent, excellent. All great things. Very good things. Uh, and how are my stats looking? Let's look at some stats here. Um, doesn't seem to want to show me what I want to know. I kind of want to know what my, um... What my, like, personality is, or what... Nature. That's the one I'm going for. Water gun! He's going for Leer. That's easy. You're not even dealing any damage to me. I'm a two-hit KO this guy. And Wild Young Goose fainted. My camera did this sort of lag out thing, and I hope it wasn't doing that for too long. I just detected it at the very end there. Alright, so in the last game, uh, Tauros could bull rush through this and you get it back. And this starts locked, but eventually isn't. And this is a way back down that we can't do yet because we're blocked off. We got trainer tips. Pokemon gain experience points by battling blah blah blah. I know all this. Are you going to give me something? Just telling me that I can get a potion uh, to heal my Pokemon, and I'm gonna run around here. I tend to be a little battle evasive. I don't like to overdo the fighting. Um, yes. Get over here, brother. Hey, hey! Which Pokemon are you gonna choose as your partner? Have you decided? Ah. Oh, I'm How! I couldn't wait for us to pick up our partners together, so I came to find you myself. Blark! Whoa, your Poplio is so cool! Hey, wait, you already picked your Pokemon? Sorry about that, Hal. We had a little accident on the way here, so I ended up letting Geo choose his partner first without you. Fair enough. I guess it was just fate for you guys to meet. But you can choose one of the- oh, but you can choose one of these two, Hal. He chose Litten. Aloha, friend. I decided ages ago that you were the one I wanted to have an adventure with. Oh, really? You chose that not just because you wanted me to destroy you with Lil P? He's gonna do awesome things together. Just you wait and see. Very cool, very cool. This is very moving. Uh, and Hal wants to know whether or not Kaku is going to take care of Rowlet. The answer is yes. Wait up, me and Linton have a favor to ask. Be our opponents in our first ever Pokemon battle together? Yes. Hold on, before you two step into the ring, let's, sure, let's make sure Poplio is up to it. Oh, does he just heal my Pokemon? That's nice. That's nice of him, in case I got in too many battles. Wow, I'm seriously gonna enjoy this! Do it, Hal. Let's see what kind of expert tricks you got up your sleeve, because this is a 1v1, and, uh... I'm rocking... I'm rocking type advantage. Soon to be double type advantage. Uh, we're not gonna mess around here. We're clicking Water Gun. He outspeeds me, uh, but I might Oko him with this. No, doesn't look like it. He didn't growl me or anything. Boo! Way too much damage. Way too much damage, but a little P grew to level 6. I feel like my attack stat is higher than it should be. I hope I'm not adamant. Our first defeat! Sorry, Litten. It was your first battle, period. Alright, let's not get ahead of yourself. It's not like, oh man, we lost. That's the first time I've ever lost. Like, no, you're 0 and 1. Wow, that was so awesome, Geo. You and Poplio were both so cool. 
You gotta have the kind of battles where everyone has fun. You and your partner too, you know? Yeah. Right on, Geo. You and Al both brought out the best in your partners. Pulled off some spectacular moves, yeah. Icky Town's right up those stairs. Come on, Geo. You should totally check out Icky Town. I saw Pokeball over here, so I want to get that item. Peck Peck. Picky Peck. Goose. Baneary. Veneri wasn't here last time. Oh, that's super cute. I don't think I have, um... Uh-oh, defense curl. I don't know if Veneri's attack or... or sorry, if defense or special defense is higher, but this gets stab boost, uh, whereas pound does not. So, this should still take out Veneri. Yeah. He would have had to have more than 1.5 times the uh, the special defense in order to survive that. Because I have stab boost on it, and my special attack is one higher than my attack. Um, so, he would have had to have really high in that department. Paralyze heal. Okay, awful. Awful. And one more battle. One more battle. I'm gonna start skipping these. Uh, I did mention that I was gonna do that in the in the prologue. It's episode one. We're getting to know each other. We're having fun. Um, you're gonna learn how my brain works uh, when it comes to battles and stuff like that. So I'm not really skipping these. I'm not in any real rush here, but um, with these episodes being about 30 minutes to 40 minutes long is sort of what I'm aiming for with each episode. And, and I can fail here, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not like, timing myself, but, you know, that's usually how long they are in general. With that being the case, uh, I feel like it's a waste of your guys' time if you're just watching me do super mundane battles. So later on, I'm gonna start skipping those a little bit. Yeah. But the game is young, and the game is afoot. Icky Town. And we're here. This right here is Icky Town. This town is where folks come to worship the Pokemon that watches over Mele Mele Island. Tapu Coco keeps us all safe and happy, see? Looks like the Cahoon is nowhere to be found, though. I guess there must be some trouble on the islands that needs fixing, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, and the Kahuna wandered off without a word to anybody, singing a little ditty or something. I'm gonna stop by home for a sec. I'm gonna show my mom Litton. Yeah, I got an idea for you, Gio. If you head through the village and up the hill, you can visit the ruins that belong to Tapu Koko. That's our guardian's guardian deity, yeah? Why don't you go introduce yourself? If you're really lucky, maybe you'll actually get a glimpse of the Guardian Deity yourself. I'll stick around and wait to see if the Kahuna comes back. I didn't capitalize Kahuna. I feel like you should. Alright, what we got going on in these houses, huh? Push that open. Got anything for me? No, I don't care about you. I don't care what you have to say to me. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like there's not going to be anything good here, but I would be remiss if I didn't at least check. Mm-hmm. She's talking about getting struck by lightning if you misbehave. She says that just to torture her children. He always thinks of his brother. He used to collect sand on the beach. Uh, opening the window to let night creep in. It's kind of a weird thing to say to a child when you're an old person. Uh, welcome to Icky Town, the town watched over by Pokemon. And uh, he's got a Pokemon, and that kid wants one too. What's the name of yours? Uh, but there was a, a rock ruff standing right next to him. And we got one more house down here before we head up the stairs, up all the, the old dusty trail. It said the ancient roads, people watch over together, blah, blah, blah. 
I don't mean to be rushing through these conversations, but it's usually not meaningful when it's just a scrub side character. So I, I don't want to devote a special voice to it or anything like that. Don't forget to save if you want to remember what happened. And the kahuna gives him wisdom and guidance. This is Howe's house right up here, I think. Came for Ohala and off he went. The ruins of conflict. Mahalo trail, that means hello. Oh wait, no. Aloha means that, mahalo means thank you. Yeah. Going to pay respect to the guardian deity, it's a fickle one, but I hope you meet it. All this foreshadowing, like, you're making me expect that I'm going to meet it. So let's see just how similar this game is. Last time we ran up this old dusty trail. Yep. I know, I know. I'll take you to the ruins. Oh, please stay in the bag. We could get trouble if anyone sees you. Typical 10 to 11 year old ish boys chasing down girls. She runs weirdly though. Yeah! 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 <gasps> Sparrow! Why are Spearow such evil birds? This is Indigo League all over again. Horde battle, let's go. I'll take all three of those birds on. Uh, never mind me. You have to help it, please. Save Nebby. Nebby, no! I'm not a trainer. I, I can't. Please save Nebby. I'll heal your Pokemon for you. <laughs> Man, this game is like easy roading me right now. Okay. One Spearow. Such an evil Pokemon. Even its face is the shape of like a yelling speech bubble in like a in a comic book or something. Look at the stupid face. I can't because I'm dousing it with water and all he's doing is looking at me kind of meanly. Weird. You don't even have quick attack to follow it up. Rookie maneuver. Nice try, Rook. I managed to chase off one Spearow, but... Oh, there's still more. Please, please save Nebby if you can, but be careful. Looks like that attack may have damaged the Plank Bridge, too. That was in all caps, so it's not like the bridge is made of planks. It's called, it's named Plank Bridge. And walking doesn't do anything different than running. Come on, let's go. 2v1. 3v1. That's it. Why am I not attacking the... Oh, damn. Nebby! Get me, Tapu. Oh, my God. Did you see that? He just, like... Triple attacked and knocked out all three of those Spiro. Coco, you beast! I actually really like Tapu Coco. A lot. Oh, by the way, guys, I don't know if you know this. This is a very fun fact. You know how orange juice tastes really bad if you just brush your teeth? Lemonade, half lemonade, half iced tea, Arnold Palmer's, also taste god-awful if you... <laughs> like, really bad. That is not good. <laughs> Pew! 
Oh, thank, thank goodness. You tried using your power again, didn't you? Oh, Nebby. You know what happened last time you used it? You couldn't move for ages after that. I don't want to see you like that again. No, I I shouldn't say that. I'm sorry, Nebby. I know you were trying to save me that time, and I, I couldn't even help you in return. Pew. What? What is that? What'd you find? Give it to me. Pew, pew. A sparkling stone? It feels almost warm somehow. Please forgive me. I'm so grateful for you helping us out of that dangerous spot. Who are you? I'm... I'm Lily. I suppose the stone must belong to you. Yes, it's mine. Give it to me. Sparkling stone. I can't remember what that does. Please don't tell anyone about this. I'm not seeing Nebby. It's... It's a secret, okay? Come on, into the bag, Nebby. Pew. Nebby, you will come to hate that cloth prison. I swear it. Um... I'm worried we might get attacked again by some wild Pokemon or, or something. I know it's too much for me to ask it, but I think you could see us back to town. Any items? What we got over here? Anything? No. No, we good. Let's go. Come on. Come on, let's go. Oh, I see. A montage walked me back. Oh, Geo, you already met Lily, huh? She's my assistant, yeah? Lily, I thought you were with the Kahuna. Kahuna Hala? He said that he had something to attend to, so he left town on his own. I was just, um... Taking a little stroll up Mahalo Trail while I waited for him to return. And that's how you met your our new neighbor, Geo, huh? He just got to Alola yesterday. Help him find his way around, yeah? So you're also one of the professor's acquaintances? It's nice to meet you. Hmm. The Kahuna is back. Kahuna Hala has returned. Our guardian's chosen one is back. One of the strongest Pokemon users in all Alola. Yeah. They say that just like every time he's just like walking it. Like, this guy lives here. Like, are you like awestruck every time you see this dude? You don't get like familiar? Like, what's up, Hala? You know, anything like that? Have I missed something? There you are, Kahuna Hala. Was there some kind of trouble? Aha! Just got caught in the middle of some brawling rock rock, that's all. Sorry, Lily. What were you saying before? For some reason, I thought I saw Tabu Coco flying about. Oh, um, yes, Kahuna Hala. Nebby got attacked by some spear on the plank bridge, and Geo here helped protect it. But the bridge collapsed, and I thought both of them might fall into the bottom of the ravine. And then it was the island's guardian deity swooped in to save them. Well, <laughs> that's something you don't hear every day. Oh, I thought it is said to protect us. Our Tapu Koko is a rather fickle creature. Yet our guardian deity was moved to save you. Kukui, my boy, I think we have cause to celebrate. Looks like we have a brave and kind new Pokemon trainer in our midst. I'm glad to meet you, child. I'm Hala, the Kahuna of Melee Melee Island. Welcome to Alola. Young Kukui has told me of your coming. I'm glad we got a chance to meet today. Pew. Oh, when did you get out again? I know that Kahuna Hala and the Professor will keep you safe from harm, but you should stay in the bag and out of sight. It's just safer that way. Nabby, well... Seems to have taken a liking to you. I 
I have read that Pokemon like it when you pet them and take care of them, you know? Alright, here's a lovely gift for me to help make today special, Geo. Pokedex. Heck yes. Pokedex is a real high-tech kind of tool, yeah? You can automatically record facts about any Pokemon that you meet. Your new partner, Poplio, is already registered. Oh yeah, so check it out. Shaka Breath. Trainer passport. Well, you got to meet the Kahuna at least. Ready to go home now, Geo? Alright. Alright. Oh, Geo, hold up a sec. What's up, Hal? How you doing? What is it, Hal? Did you forget something? You're seriously asking me that? Who's the one here who forgot to tell anyone before wandering off for a little stroll at the s and a sing without a word, huh? Hmm? Geo, would you be so kind as to give me a look at that sparkling stone you have there? Is this first word gonna be hmm? No, it's not. Could it be? Tutu, isn't that... You were rescued by Tapu Koko at the bridge. Isn't that what I heard, Geo? Yeah, it rescued me. So it even deigned to give you a stone. Perhaps you are here in Alola, Geo, because this is where you're meant to be. Allow me to borrow this stone for now. Fret not, I'll return it to you tomorrow evening. You have the markings of makings of a brilliant trainer. I can see that light within you too. You must do us the honor of joining in our festival tomorrow. Ugh. First, I'll make sure you get back home safe today, though, Geo. Lily, you two should come back with us too, yeah? Wouldn't want to go losing you twice in one day. You or that precious Pokemon of yours. Yeah, I'll keep an eye on... <laughs> Nebby's behind her! <laughs> Silly Nebby. Pew! Oh, you... Would you not try to escape the very moment I'm telling you not to wander off? And everyone's laughing. <laughs> We're all laughing. We're all having a good time. This Nebby's such an idiot. He's gonna get captured. Murdered. <laughs> Welcome back, Geo. So what'd you think of the island of Kahuna Hala? Oh, and look who we got with you. Bar? Came running to hell to help you? What a sweet little thing. Right there on Route 1, meh. And it saved you? That's amazing. It must have been fate that you met. Two of you look great together. I feel happier just looking at the pair of you. Mer? Bar? Alright, you know what? It's the next day. I think day one, three months after the initial happenings. I think uh, this episode ran a little long, and I'm sorry about that, but I didn't... There wasn't really like a logical place to cut it, uh, but it's a new day. So I think that's going to be the end of episode one. So thank you guys so much for watching and do return for episode two where we see what's going to happen next. So as always, my name is Jim Luda Geo. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you next episode.